Hello everyone, this is Cynthia on Embracing His Word. Well, I am certainly happy to be with you in this uh, new year that's coming up, 2020. I pray that you have a blessed year. Well, the topic for today is um, how to identify soul ties. Have you ever been in a relationship and you felt like you want to just break that relationship off? And you had difficulties breaking that relationship off. Well, I can certainly testify uh, that when we have ungodly soul ties in our lives, it, it is not a situation that cannot be resolved with Jesus Christ. Because Christ, he is for you. And he wants you to be in the best relationship possible. And so I can testify that when I had ungodly soul ties, I definitely sought the Lord about it. Because I can remember even as a young girl, when I committed my, my life to Christ at the age of 19, the Lord was impressing upon my heart to break this ungodly soul tie that I had with this young man. And you know what? I chose God over that young man. And I chose to be obedient to the Lord. And he helped me to sever that ungodly soul tie. So when you when you sever a relationship, I'm not saying that it's not painful or you will not experience loneliness. You know, when we are obedient to God, that's when God can really open the door and bless you with the right kind of person that should be in your life. So today we're talking about identifying the symptoms of ungodly soul ties. So some of the symptoms are that you may have feelings of depression. You may be feeling anxious, manipulated, and exhausted emotionally. You may experience the inability to sleep restfully. Uh, confusion and unrest in your spirit about the relationship. You're in a relationship with someone who is verbally or, or physically abusive. They say things to you, call you name out of your name. That is an ungodly soul time, but yet you stay in the relationship. That person you're tied to can also be sexually abusive. The person you're tied to is selfish, greedy, cruel, abusive. And also you find yourself being manipulated by that person and controlled by that person. You may also experience uh, ungodly dreams such as dreaming of that person. In all actuality, it is a, door, a spirit that you have opened the door to the spirit of Ancobus or Succubus. And so that spirit is now invading your life because you open the door to an ungodly soul tied with this individual. Also, you may uh, experience loss of identity and self-worth in Christ Jesus. And you know, when, when we are blinded by the enemy, a lot of times individuals don't know that they are in this ungodly a relationship and they they feel like there's no way of escape there is a way of escape for you through Jesus Christ so also you so you may be experiencing low self-esteem feelings of worthlessness feeling unloved unwanted uh, oppressive feelings uh, you may feel like you know you just don't have the ability to sever and break free from this relationship Oh, yes, you can. Through Christ, you can do all things. So your thoughts and feelings are fully focused on that uh, individual or that person. And you're unable to think of anyone or anything else because you just feel like you are so in love. Well, that is a symptom of an ungodly soul tie, especially when you know that this relationship is de is uh, detrimental, devastating to your to your uh, well being. So we have to recognize these ungodly soul soul ties and ask the Lord to bring healing and deliverance. So your main focus is with that person, and you feel uh, driven to to try to make the relationship work. 
that is definitely a symptom of an ungodly soul tie. And the enemy is trying to ride your wheel and take control and dominate your thought life so that you stay in the relationship. But I want you to recognize that is an ungodly, evil soul tie tying you to a relationship that is no good for your life. And so also, you know, oftentimes people open the door to ungodly soul ties through sexual relationships. But I want you to know also, soul ties can also come uh, from being in um, just an emotional uh, relationship with someone else, someone else, being close to someone else, and it develops into an emotional, spiritual uh, soul tie. Now, although the scripture does not use the word so tie per se, however, the Bible does speak of souls being knit together and becoming one flesh. Exactly what is a soul tie, you may ask me, in today's world. First of all, your soul consists of your mind, your will, your emotions. Now, these three areas of your life uh, they are definitely linked to your spirit man. So spiritually, when we communicate with other people, oftentimes we don't realize we're also interacting with their spirit. And so oftentimes we can easily form soul ties. They can be good soul ties or they can be bad soul ties. So the definition, my definition of a soul tie, it is an emotional and spiritual connection or link that ties one to another person. So soul ties can easily be formed with another person. The first soul tie that we see in scripture is of a husband and wife, and that is Adam and Eve. So God created Eve for Adam. And the scripture in Genesis chapter two, verse 24 says, this is now bone of my bones. They became one flesh. Now, I want to talk to you about some of the activities or behaviors uh, that opens, really opens the door for evil soul tying to enter into your life between another person. So, number one, sexual immorality. Sexual immorality definitely opens the door to an evil soul tie. So if you are sleeping with someone that you are not married to and you open the door not only for um, an evil soul tie, but you open the door for a spirit of lust to come in and to uh, control and dominate your will. So also another activity um, are you're, you're saying vows, for example, I will always love you. When you should be, you know, making a way for you to break off that relationship, you're doing vows. So that creates a soul tie between you and that person. So you will have to renounce that vow. So keeping company with the wrong person definitely can uh, uh, create, create a ungodly soul tie. This can also be with someone who's professing to know Christ, but they have some unhealed hearts and wounds in their heart. And so they're trying to connect with you uh, and form a relationship. So that if you fall for it, that definitely will create an emotional soul tie, which can lead to a physical, ungodly sexual soul tie. Also entertaining someone on the phone. So if you're uh, having conversations with someone and, and it is an ungodly conversation that definitely will create a soul tie. Also, uh, rejection. If you have rejection in your heart and your soul, and, and it has never been addressed, those wounds have never been healed, and so that um, subjects you to being vulnerable to uh, other people that are full of rejection. So. So that's the way soul ties are created. So you connect with another individual that has rejection, that has deep wounds in their heart, and so that creates an ungodly soul tie. Also, um, loneliness and a strong desire to be wanted or needed. So these are unmet needs. So if we are vulnerable because of unmet needs in our lives, um, 
then definitely we can connect with other people and create ungodly soul ties. So we want to get our needs met through Jesus Christ, not connecting with unhealed um, people and create creating ungodly soul ties. It's also, if the individual is involved in pornography, if you're involved in pornography, it definitely creates an ungodly soul tie. So if you're viewing uh, something of that nature, what it does, it opens the door to the enemy to invade your spirit, man. And so you you don't understand why you have to constantly look at uh, pornography because you have opened the door for a spirit, an evil spirit to come in to compel and uh, make you desire to want to continue to look at these things so that's what you what that's what you have created an ungodly evil soul time through pornography and so also uh declarations of devotion to someone we don't want to be making declarations of devotion to someone that we should not be doing uh declarations uh to uh refusal to cut off uh soul ties and and sexual um, relationships and um, ungodly phone conversations, uh, refusal to to block and delete um, social media connections, uh, refusal to leave that person alone at work that you are uh, connecting with somehow spiritually, emotionally not taking out your thoughts captive so we are responsible for taking our thoughts captive we're responsible for bringing them into obedience to the lord jesus christ god hold us responsible for our thoughts because if we don't take our thoughts captive the enemy just invade the thought line and wreaks havoc and create those ungodly soul times so refusal to be committed to God in his ways. You're not putting God first in your life. If you don't put God first in your life, you leave yourself vulnerable to the enemy. So the enemy comes in and, and uh, connect you with all kinds of ungodly people. And therefore, th these ungodly soul ties are created. So we have to make a commitment. I will put God first in my life. I will live my life present it to the Lord Jesus Christ to be holy and acceptable unto the Lord. So we have to choose not to be conformed to the ways of this world, but we have to choose to be transformed by daily renewing our minds. So also lack of accountability. Oftentimes we need to be accountable to other people in order in order for us to maintain our healing and our deliverance make yourself accountable to someone that you can trust and confide in that will support and build you up so these are some of the things these are some of the things that are activities and behaviors that opens the door to ungodly soul ties but the good news is that god is for us it is God's will for you to be healed in your heart and your soul. It's God's will for you to be in a relationship with someone that truly loves you and truly can um, be a part of your life, that God wants to be in your life. So we have to on purpose choose these things. So we make a declaration to the Lord. Lord, I want to be truly uh, living my life for you. I want to be in a relationship that someone that would truly be a blessing to me and that would be a leader in my home. So we make these kind of declarations and we believe and trust God to bring forth healing and deliverance in our lives. So I want you to uh, make sure you share the video, subscribe uh, to my uh, channel embracing his words cynthia wilson also look forward to the next videos i will talk continue to talk about uh soul ties and relationships and further on i will talk about how to break free from these um demonic evil soul times so be blessed and have a wonderful day